Yesterday, I received a message from Anthony via LinkedIn, and he wanted to know about my experience at Coding Bootcamp. And here's what he said. Hey John, I'm currently considering attending the Galvanize Full Stack Web Dev Immersive Program. I was doing some research on LinkedIn to determine where people ended up after they graduated from the program, and I noticed that you were one of the few people who ended up working at one of the big four companies. I'm curious if, one, you'd attribute what you learned at Galvanize to working at Amazon, two, if you're using your knowledge in your current role, and three, if overall you think that attending Coding Bootcamp is worth it. So I wanna address those three questions in this video today, and also I wanna to touch base on a couple other things, including the types of people that attend Coding Boot Camps, how to gauge if you'll actually like coding, the cost and time commitment of a boot camp, what you'll actually learn from a boot camp, and lastly, my take on the difference between free courses and paid courses. So let's jump right in. And sorry guys, if I got uh, a bunch of wind noise uh, on this video, I'm kind of testing out uh, the waters here. Uh, so uh, bear with me. Do I attribute what I learned from Coding Bootcamp to getting my job at Amazon. What I told Anthony was there was a combination of things that I attribute. Number one is coding bootcamp. Number two is uh, attending a, an MBA program that I did uh, in 2015. And number three was the entrepreneurial journey that I had. And all of those factors led into crafting the right story uh, to get my foot in the door at Amazon. Am I using the knowledge that I gained at bootcamp in my current role. Some of you may know that I actually didn't go down the uh, path of uh, getting a junior engineering job. I went down the product manager path, which is a little bit non-traditional. Um, I've had two roles since the uh, graduation in 2015. One was as a senior product manager at American Express, and two is my current role, uh, which is a manager of product management at Amazon. In both roles, I have been using or have used um, all of the knowledge that I gained in boot camp, and uh, you know I think it's really important uh, for me to um, know the pain that an engineer goes through on a day-to-day -day basis to launch features. Uh, it makes it a lot easier for me to communicate with an engineer um, because I've gone through you know working with databases, I've gone through working with you know creating user interfaces. Um, and uh, working with JavaScript. So those things have been really beneficial. Is Coding Bootcamp worth it? For me, 100% Coding Bootcamp uh, definitely paid off. Having that technical piece um, as part of my toolkit has been uh, beneficial in me landing my roles both at American Express and at Amazon. There was about 28 students in my class and keep in mind, this is 2015 when uh, we graduated from the program, and there was not that many coding boot camps um, out there back then. But out of about 28 students in my class, I think we started with maybe 32 people didn't graduate, they just dropped out of the program. Um, another two or so, two, three people uh, worked pretty hard to try to get coding jobs, and they were unsuccessful um, at that, and I'm not sure what they're doing today, but the average student from the program did graduate with uh, about a sixty-five to eighty thousand uh, dollar salary. And now, keep in mind, a lot of the students in the program—I'd say the majority of students in the program—were in their early to mid twenties. So, getting an average salary of sixty-five to eighty k uh, right out of that program uh, was a real plus. There were a couple outliers. Uh, there were outliers in the hundred to $115,000 range, um, but uh, the average students uh, fell in that you know, 65 to 80K range. Types of people that attend Coding Bootcamp. The first are people that are really passionate about coding, engineering, right? They wanna have a long career in that field. The second are people that are enticed by the money, right? They're trying to make a career transition. They see some of the advertised salaries and they feel like they can make a shortcut. Now, this can definitely work for some people, but I think um, I would uh, you know, caution that if you don't have a plan into leveraging you know, an engineering job into product management 
uh, or some other type of role in the future because if you're not passionate about it, um, you know, you're not going to get the types of salaries that you see um, advertised or that you, you know, see from you know, top companies like Amazon or Uber or Google or something like that. The third type of person that goes to these programs are um, really small percentage of people, uh, and I fall into this bucket, is um, uh, people who want to be product managers or people who are entrepreneurs and maybe want to launch their own app, start their own company, something along those lines. How do you gauge if a career in coding, uh, in development, is actually uh, going to work for you. I told Anthony when he reached out to me that I think it's important to look at the um, LSAT logic game puzzles. Uh, LSAT stands for Law School Admission Test and you know a lot of people don't bring this topic up but if you review these types of questions, um, LSAT logic game puzzles, I'll put a link uh, in the description below uh, of a couple of free resources where you can go through some of these questions. But if you review these types of questions and you find your mind getting really fatigued really quickly, you'll kind of get an idea that coding may not be for you. Um, there's this misconception that coding is, uh, that you have to be a mathematician to be a coder. That's not um, necessarily the case, but the logic puzzles give you an idea of the types of questions that you'll kind of be wrestling with um, quite often as uh, a uh, developer. Cost and time commitment for a boot camp. My program was uh, 24 months. Uh, it was $21,000. Uh, there are quite a few programs out there that are between eight and 12 weeks. One comment that I have on this is that I think that the eight and 12 week programs are not nearly enough time to um, get deep into you know, um, becoming a, a solid junior developer. I, I don't think that you have enough um, you know, tools in the toolbox uh, to you know, get out there and, and actually you know, hit the ground running when you start in that type of setting. Now, I could be wrong. Uh, there's a lot of programs out there, but uh, I think you knew, do need at least 24 weeks to, um, you know, to get the right skill set and, and to have um, you know, somebody seriously consider you uh, as a junior dev. Now, there are, if you're concerned about the cost, there are quite a few uh, like micro loan companies. I'll put a link to uh, a couple of them in the description below. Uh, but they you know, tend to offer pretty reasonable um, payment schedules for between one and uh, five years. So definitely check those out if you know, cost is a uh, concern. What you learn in the program. There's a lot of things you learn and if you're just getting into it, what I'm gonna say may not make any sense and that's okay. Um, I'll put some information in the description below that you can kind of like do, do your own independent research. But you're gonna learn how to um, write HTML, CSS, JavaScript, Ajax, um, you're gonna learn JavaScript frameworks, you're gonna learn how to write moderately complex uh, algorithms, uh, you're gonna learn about database structures, and what that all boils down to is basically at the end of the program, you will be able to do a capstone project and dream up a pretty difficult app that you wanna create and actually get it done, right? So for example, if you're thinking about creating an app that you know, maps on Google Maps, um, you know, popular uh, lunch spots, and you wanna create like an ordering system and a way for people to create their own accounts and log in um, and access their account details and things like that, you'll definitely be able to uh, create an app like that, right? So I've been to a couple graduations since my graduation just to see what students are coming out with, and they're coming out with some pretty amazing stuff. Free programs versus paid boot camps. There are lots and lots of awesome free programs out there, right? You can go to lynda.com or Udemy um, and something like that, right? Or, or basically they're free to little cost, right? Something that might cost you 50 bucks for a really comprehensive program. Now, what I can say about these programs uh, is that you'll dive into them and they're full of amazing detail, but the problems um, that you'll face coding are extremely complex, right? So. Um, you tend to, at least when you're a beginner, get stuck really fast 
and you'll go through a day or two where you're just stuck on one problem and you're just banging your head against the table and you can't figure out how to tackle it and you've got nobody to talk to. Um, that's one of the key benefits of going to a program you know, like Galvanize is that you have uh, your, your cohort to ask questions uh, to and you also have your teachers who are more than willing to you know, dive into those um, uh, problems and questions and you would get unstuck really fast. The other thing that I think uh, that a uh, coding bootcamp will do for you is that they'll help you find a job. And so, you know, if you do a Udemy course or if you do a free course, um, you have no outlet to, you know, finding a role, right? The bootcamp brings you some form of legitimacy to the program that you took. You get a certificate of completion. Um, they have relationships with a bunch of companies. They bring in companies to, um, to speak. Uh, and so you get to kind of like, you know, do meet and greets with companies. Uh, and also, at least in the case of the Galvanize program, they do a hiring event at the end. They brought in like 15 companies. I think that's a real plus uh, over uh, some of the free uh, courses because ultimately if you're trying to learn coding the main objective is to get a job and uh, that's what some of these programs will will really uh, focus on that I believe is all I got for you today guys I'm getting blasted with Sun uh, and I need to get out of here my name is John Marty helping you pursue professional and personal success so you can live a life you truly enjoy uh, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. I got a lot more videos coming just like this. If you have any specific questions about coding bootcamp that you need answered, put them in the comments below. I'll definitely take a look at them and answer them uh, as soon as possible. Um, and also, if you've had your own experience at a coding bootcamp, whether it's good or bad, um, everybody uh, would love to hear um, what you have to say in the comments below. It'll, it'll, it'll help uh, people that are uh, looking to you know get into a program like this so that's all I got guys thanks a lot